So we came here yesterday uh, trying to get through, the road was closed and um, they said the road was washed away and etc. So um, that was yesterday morning at 9am, it's now um, 5.30, 6 o'clock the next day and uh, we're going to try and get home. Oh yeah, you can see, look, at, look on the left, film that Esther. There's debris everywhere. Oh, yeah, the road over there is washed out where they're starting to repair it, you can see on the right here. So, yeah, the water's still quite high, but you can get through now. It's a uh, single lane. Oh, look at that, Esther. Look at the bits of road there. Mm. Wow. So, the video was showing yesterday on the news that petrol station was underwater. That's that video we were watching at. Wow. So, this is where we couldn't get through yesterday, but the road's open and uh, you can get through now. So, all good. A bit more road washed away at this little bridge here. It's alright though. Looks like it's been resurfaced. <laughs> That's quick. Anyway, you yeah, know, all good. Coming up to Apple Tree Creek now. Uh, this was all flooded yesterday. Well, we saw people saw the video of this petrol station with the water right up to it. So flowing through there. It's all um, gone now, look at that. So this was all big one river yesterday. Danny. So the road is definitely open now if you want to go home from uh, Jin Jin, like us. And the pub up here showing us all under water yesterday. Look, that's the creek on the right hand side there. G'day, it's Dad and Esther here. We've uh, decided to call it quits for this uh, holiday because we went to Rockhampton and what was it in Rockhampton? Really hot. Too hot, right? But it did have a really amazing big Stockland shopping centre, didn't it? Which had all the shops that you liked. Yeah? Yeah, move your arm. I'll stop hiding your face. It had all the shops that Esther liked. I spent a few hours sitting there in the nice cool air conditioning waiting for her to come out of all the clothing shops and bookshops and stuff and then uh, we went to Gladstone and what was Gladstone like? Gladstone, you know? I don't remember You don't remember, we were there like yesterday Gladstone was also very hot and we stayed at the showground, remember? Mm -hmm. You don't remember yesterday, staying at the showground with the air conditioner going because it's too hot and boring and the beach was uh were you know they're okay but gladstone's more like an industrial mining kind of i don't know it's like a, just an industrial kind of town so now we're stopped at childers um because uh yesterday we tried to come home we couldn't get through the roads were shut uh so we made a couple of little videos of um the roads were open um, i had a lot of trouble finding footage um of um roads you know, there's no video footage anywhere of what the roads are like. Um, you know, people reporting the roads washed away, the bridges washed away, this, that, and the other. It's actually not that bad. It's um, but yesterday, yeah, the the road was just underwater. You just couldn't really get through. Um, but yeah, it's fine today. So yesterday was uh, 9 a.m. We went there, just past Jinjin. You couldn't get through. Now we just throw from Jinjin to Childers. All the roads are open, and um, you can see where the floods were, which is good. So. It's all receding and we're heading home. So we're going to go home, call this trip an end because it's too hot up north and we come back to floods and stuff and we're not going south. We normally go to the sunny coast but uh, down at Meribur it's all flooded so you probably won't be able to get through there anyway. So we're just going to go home and relax and then also COVID is apparently getting really bad so um, we're we'll just going home and take it easy I think. So till next time. In a while, crocodile. crocodile. <laughs>